It's time to toss your over-the-counter allergy medication. This year, we're gonna be using something that's actually good for our bodies and makes our bodies healthier. Some nutrient-dense herbs in an herbal remedy. approaching allergy season here and we have a couple people in the house who really struggle with hay fever in particular and so after years of searching for a great healthy remedy we have finally found the one that really works to kick allergies and hay fever out of the house completely. The bonus of it is is it only uses highly nutritive tonic herbs that are very safe and give you a super boost of nutrition and nutrient density in those herbs. So you might find that while you're getting rid of your allergies, you're also solving other health issues that you might not have even realized that you had. Medicine that actually makes you healthier, that makes me happy and that's a complete win in my book. All right, let's jump into it. Today, we're going to be using the herbs alfalfa, and nettle. And both of these herbs are considered very, very safe herbs, but they also contain a lot of amazing tonic nutrients. That means that it's just gonna help your whole system feel better and get better just by infusing a whole lot of nutrients right into your system. So I absolutely love these herbs because you can really use them to increase your overall health but they both make an incredible remedy for any sort of seasonal allergies or hay fever. Let's talk about how to take these herbs because it's not like you're just gonna take a spoonful of them and eat them. You could take them in a tea, you could make a tincture, you could make a glycerite, you could even make an herbal honey out of these. But today, I'm going to be making herbal capsules that make it super easy to take these and to encourage the rest of your family to take them, especially if you're working with somebody who's used to taking allergy pills, this is a really easy substitute. It's really easy to make your own herbal capsules, but you do need a few things. First of all, you'll need the capsules. These are double zero size capsules, OO size, and I really like the size because they're not too big to swallow for most people in the house. You'll also need a capsuling machine or a little doodad like this. This is a capsulate. I love this thing. It makes it so incredibly easy to do this at home and it can save you a ton of money by making your own capsules and buying bulk herbs. I will put a link to my favorite spot to buy these herbs in the description as well as to this thing. But before we can actually get into making the capsules, we have to work with the herbs for a second. Right now, they're just in cut and sifted form, and that's how you buy most herbs when you buy them bulk. They're kind of just broken up into small flakes, but we need to get them even smaller. So we need to powder these herbs first. Powdering herbs is as easy as finding some sort of a machine you have around the house to get them powdered. That could be a food processor, a blender, a coffee grinder is a great way to go, or even something like this mini blender. We're gonna do that. For this combination, I like to do roughly equal parts of both the nettle and the alfalfa. You don't have to be exact on this. It's a very you know, relaxed process because we're working with these really safe herbs that are considered tonic herbs. And that means you're really not gonna get too much of them or need to work in really exact numbers like you would an herb that had more safety precautions with it. So I'm just gonna put in about three handfuls of each. So we want one to one parts of alfalfa and nettle. And blend it up until it is finely powdered. Look at that 
nice fine powder that's probably not as fine as you'd get if you bought powdered herbs, which you can do. The problem with store-bought powdered herbs is that they lose their potency really quickly just because you've exposed all that surface area to the air. And so when you powder them at home, you get a much more nutrient dense herb and it's gonna be much more potent as a remedy. So it's not quite as fine, but it's much more potent. So we'll go with that. Let's look at this capsuling machine. It's got quite a few different parts to it. Thankfully, they're all named, so that's great. This is the tamper. This is the middle plate. Then you have the capping plate. This is where the lid of the capsules go. And you have what's called the frame plate. The frame plate helps you to get the capsules into place. So we're gonna start off with the body plate and the frame plate and put them on top of each other like that. And we're gonna look at our capsule. Now the capsules have a lid or a top and they have the bottom part, which is called the body. This is the longest part of this process. You actually are gonna take your double O capsules, pull them apart, set the lids into some sort of a container, and using this frame plate, fill up all the available spots with capsule bodies. Now that I have all the bodies of the capsules in, we're ready to fill them with the herbs. So you can take the frame plate off and make sure all of your capsules are pressed down flush with the body plate. And then we're gonna take this frame and we are going to fill it with our powdered herbs. Just fill it right up. Take your little scraper and just move it around. Make sure you fill all the little holes that appear. All right, we're gonna take the extra herbs and just push them right on off. These herbs smell so good. They definitely smell healthy. <laughs> you can work on getting these herbs into your diet also Nettle is a great vegetable. You can just eat it just like you would spinach. But you can also add these things into smoothies, mix them into soups, anything like that. Now that we have our first round in there, we're gonna take the tamper and we're gonna lightly tamp down those herbs in that capsule. Now that's gonna leave a little bit more room for just a little more herb in there. So we're gonna sprinkle that back on just lightly. And use our scraper again to top them off. And once we have them nice and full, we'll get rid of the extra herbs here and save that for the next batch. This little machine makes about 100 capsules at a time, but I like to do them kind of in bulk when I sit down to do them and just do several rounds and make about 500 per sitting. That way we can get a couple months, possibly. In our house, they go pretty quickly. Now we have the body of the capsules filled. We need to deal with the lids of the capsules. So I'm gonna set this aside for a moment. And we're gonna take what's called the capping board. And that's the one that has the closed bottom. We've gotta take the frame here. And we're gonna set it right on top. That just helps to set them in there into place. And we're gonna take our little caps of our capsules and we're gonna set them in upside down so that the, the rounded part goes all the way up and sits right in here. I have all of my caps in my filler. You can see them right in there. And I'm gonna take what's called the middle plate and I'm gonna set it right on top of this, making sure that these little dents are facing up. I'm gonna clean this part up just a little bit more now that I have that frame off of there to make sure nothing gets between the cap and the body of those capsules. And take our caps, flip them upside down, and line it all right back up with the corners. Now, this part's kind of fun. 
I'm just going to push right down until it goes all the way down and pop it up. And there I have a hundred capsules that are all filled and ready to go. Now it takes a few minutes to do, but it's really simple and it's gonna save you a lot of money over buying pre-filled capsules. Plus, if you can forage your own herbs or grow them in your own yard, they're gonna be so much more potent. Both alfalfa and nettle are very, very safe herbs and considered very safe unless you have a personal allergy. So for children, I would give them two capsules three times a day if they're actively struggling with allergies. And for adults, I'd take four or five, depending on your weight, three times a day. Remember, herbs don't work like a medication, so you have to take them more often and you have to take more of them. So if it's not working for you within a couple of days, try increasing the dose. It's not gonna do anything to you besides improve your health. Now, if you're interested in why alfalfa and nettle work so well for allergies, then check out the blog post that I have for you down in the description. And did you guys know how easy it is to grow your own herbs? Check out this video right here on the 15 herbs you should be growing this year.